Hello guys, Hilary is my name. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share about my wooden kinetic sculpture that I made a few weeks back. Uh, wood kinetic sculptures can be like decorations that you can put in your house. Only the difference is most of the decorations are static. This one is kinetic. It's made of wood and it's kinetic. So today I specifically want to go into the details of I want to go into the details of the working mechanism so please come with me uh, this is a kinetic sculpture it has two axes it has the main axis here and this uh, about that axis that is how it rotates it also has another axis here only moves in the anti-clockwise direction when you turn it to the clockwise direction it will not move when you turn it clockwise it will not move because i put a certain ratchet mechanism here that stops it from doing so so about this axis this side and this side are well balanced when it comes to the main axis one side is slightly heavier and I, for that case i chose this side to be slightly heavier for a reason when you pick this off um the sculpture has a metallic rod on it behind there and it's also for a reason that i'm going to explain um it is made of um, gear mechanism inside this there is a power spring and that, that power spring is attached on that middle rod and it's what it's what drives the, the sculpture right now it's not loaded but it has a, a, a ratchet mechanism here when you turn this like that you're actually loading the spring up so when you turn it you're loading the spring it has a, a gear gear ratio of 4 to 1 the big gear has 40 40 the small pinion gear has 11 teeth so that pinion gear is attached to this other whole mechanism when you look at this there are small weights here they are wooden weights one one side of of those weights is heavier than the other when or if you can realize when you push that it fits within the circum with this outer circumference and uh, this is made in a way that there's another fixed road here where this wood circumference is just close to to this so when this is rotating these ones can are always thrust by by the by the gear and they hold there so every other push that you give to the sculpture this one stops there and as 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 it loses its momentum it will the sculpture will turn back and the other rod will come and touch here because this now is out of the circumference it will touch when it touches here it pushes this back slightly dropping this down and pushing it and and pushing this and taking that to, to hold again so that is how it keeps thrusting so basically that is the entire mechanism of the kinetic sculpture so back to how it moves so right now it has been thrust to the clockwise direction and when it loses this kinetic energy it's going the, the heavier side as I was explaining earlier it goes back then when it goes back it is thrust again so it keeps moving there is a power spring inside there 
uh, when the more the more you turn that uh, ratchet mechanism, the stronger the spring becomes. And uh, I wanted initially to use uh, a constant force spring, but they are not available on the market, so I ended up using a power spring. So basically, that's what it is. Thank you.